Hi guys, hello and welcome to another C Sharp programming video tutorial. In this program tutorial, we will solve this program where we will have a button and a list box. What we are to do in this program is that we'll have a starting population of 300,000 stored in a variable for the year 2020. With a constant rate of increase 3% for every year after 2020 till the year 2025. So in the list box, I would like to display the year 2020, 300,000, and then all the way through year 2025 with a 3% increase, what will be the population? So in order to make this happen, what I did, I created a button and I brought in a list box. I put the text on the button and I changed the name property of the list box to list population. As you can see over here, I changed the font sizes so that you could easily read what is on the form. Behind the scene on the button, what we'll be doing is we'll running a loop that will start at 2020 and we're going to end at 2025. So we're going to run for 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025. Six times the loop will run. Every time it runs, there's a 3% increase from the previous year's population. It'll compute that. And then we're going to store it in a variable, which will then be put out in the text box, in the list box. To add items to the list box, this is how we add items to the list box. We put the name of the list box, dot. We call the items collection, and then we call the add method to which we can add whatever we would like to add. So now let's go behind the scene. I have a button uh, in which I've declared a variable pop of type double, starting population 300,000. Ran a for loop from 2020 to 2025, incrementing by one. Every time the loop runs to the list population, I'm calling the items collection to which I'm adding I, which is my ear, concatenated by a space, concatenated by a population rounded. Now, how, how am I calculating the next population, next year's population? The formula is population plus 3% increase in population as the directions I gave you, which could actually be shortened with this logic because the population is on both sides of equals so instead of writing population equals to population plus and then the three percent increase we can just write population plus equals to three percent increase which means exactly the same thing as i taught you in the previous lessons so now when we run it in this output as i click on the button in my list box i should be able to see all the years all six of the years along with their population increased by three percent from the year prior from the prior year and rounded so here we go so we have years 2020 through 2025 and then there's a three percent three percent increase every year so in six years the population will be 347,782 so uh, I mean like from 2020 to 2025 so that's basically uh, the variance in population we see here anyway hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial and learned something here so I'll catch you in the next one till then take care bye bye